Let's start. Today we will learn about an error called, end of line without line continuation, in the TradingView Pine script. Let's see the code. This is the indicator function with name, end of line without line continuation. First, we calculate a simple RSI. Then we try to find out if the RSI is above 50 or not. If the RSI is above 50, we store 1 in our variable, else we store 0 value. And finally, we plot the result. Let's save this code. As you can see an error has occurred which says, extraneous input 1 expecting end of line without line continuation. And this error has occurred on line number 10 in our code. So what does this error actually mean? The Pine script programming language is an indentation-based language. That means this programming language demands that the code must be written in a predefined manner that the Pine editor understands. Normally we start writing the code from the leftmost edge of the Pine editor like this. But when we program certain things like an if-else statement, or a function, or a for loop, then the Pine script has some standard rules about how to write these things in the Pine editor. For example, as we have written an if-else statement over here, you can see that the output of the if-else statement, that is the value of 1 and 0, is written on a new line. Below the if and else statement. But as we try to write the result on the new line, the Pine script hints us to write the result starting from this dotted vertical line. This line is an indication given by the Pine editor, which tells us that, the Pine editor expects you to write this code from this dotted vertical line, so as to maintain the indentation of the code as the Pine script requires. But since I have ignored that vertical dotted line indication, and I have written the output of 1 and 0 further away from the line, the Pine script shows us an error, that says, extraneous input 1 expecting end of line without line continuation. So Pine script is in short telling me to write that 1 and 0 from the vertical dotted line. Let's rectify the mistake as the Pine script says. As you can see, I have corrected the mistake on line number 10, and written the one from the dotted line as told by the Pine script. And as I save the code, the Pine script again shows me the error that says, extraneous input 0 expecting end of line without line continuation. And now this error has occurred on line number 12. Let's rectify this mistake also. As you can see, now I have corrected my mistake, and written the zero on line number 12 from the vertical dotted line as told by the Pine script. And as I save the code, the code gets compiled and saved successfully. So this is one of the cases of an if-else statement where the programmer needs to write the code as the Pine script tells us to write. With a proper indentation and spaces. This also applies when you write a complex if-else statement, a for loop, a function, etc. Let's see an example of a complex if-else statement. As you can see, we have multiple nested if-else statements over here, and at each level, the output of an if or else statement is written at a specific number of spaces away from the left edge of the Pine editor. The Pine script makes this easier for us by showing us vertical dotted lines like this and tells us to start writing from here. So that's it. That's how you can solve the end of line without line continuation error in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.